okay so in continuation with the previous session basically in this session we will try to look at the container in a skin and create our own container uh, define basically a container and then next we will cover is layout group okay. so let's see the container first currently for example this one is use, not using any container right let's go back to the skin same way you click on here um, those three lines basically and then from the layout category select containers these are the containers which are already available default you can preview how does it look like um, remember container is about the content within the layout so it's uh, it has three sections the header how will the header appear how is the content going to appear and how is the box that is boxing the content is going to appear so i'm going to create a new container so i'm going to do a save as and ims default right let's look at the settings first header if you use header what should be the background um, you can specify style there okay you can use mixin mixin is predefined uh, predefined uh, formats basically okay look and feel okay so or you can specify just any style you would like to okay is it going to be the border is it going to be solid none means nothing if you use solid line see the border this is the header i'm talking about header border okay see the line came in and it will tell you the bit uh, basically how uh, how much width of that border should be 2 b 90 see uh, 60 eight i mean just showing you the di uh, difference okay so let's have a bullet border solid and we will have two and the color is going to be something like this this is how the border will look like okay any background um, you can add additional styles margin in the background basically is going to be zero display flex align item center padding top bottom top left right bottom okay so this is fine we'll leave it when you expand when you have expandable collapsible if you expand what should be the expanded icon you can search the images available expanded right maybe i will use this one you can upload your own images and then it will appear here how to upload the image i will tell you later collapsed icon this one uh, what should be the height of the border that's okay 50 any padding left padding 25 pixel this is if you remove this see usually we have expandable collapse so we need to give some space to that let's add 30 no let's add 20 what happens if you hover any style changes anything let's leave it for the moment these are advanced ui skills so leave it let's talk about the content how should the contents border should look like apply all side do you want to have a basically border on here as well yes let's have a dotted border and one see there will be i mean let me just increase it so you will see a dotted border like this okay the content again is going to have this color let's say just experimenting okay padding do you want any padding so top 10 maybe yeah that is fine right we can reduce to 10 bottom is okay left we can reduce to 10 this is okay background in the background you want to add any style the css con content you can add it um or you can say image you can add an image as well 
let's see what is that image mm, any image that we can use as a border sorry i mean you can add image but let's not add it okay let's keep it uh, gradient okay start let's keep it none only no background for the content box solid the entire box okay three see this is going to box the entire item including header and content additional style padding border radius see this the above one this one it is radius if you want to make it a square just put zero it will be square margin and all that so let's save it maybe in the background we want to change the color let's change that color solid and what color should we choose maybe little grace yeah and in the header too let's choose a color in the background we can specify like this bg color what is the css for that color rgb or we have okay let's see background color like this oral how does it look like okay that is fine too see but it will not look very good because this content is causing it let's just keep it as it is okay save Now let's apply this image default on the container. Actually, yeah, on every container. Others. And It's not showing it here. This is coming up nicely. Good. Actually, I did not need to specify it here again because it's applied on the top. Let's see. Okay. We don't have header basically, otherwise, we would have seen the header thing as well coming up. So, that's how we provide background. And this is what the container looks like. Okay, next thing that we have is a layout group. Well, I'm not going to add layout group here, I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to open the main section and I'm going to make sure that this and this in one tab this is in another tab and in the third tab we are showing the customer okay we are, I'm going to add a layout, uh, tab layout okay so <clears throat> layout group is basically clubbing together multiple structural element let's convert this into full section editor so clubbing together multiple structural element this could be a section this could be a just a dynamic layout multiple dynamic layouts club together into tabular format menu driven format or whatever format we want to or maybe just expandable collapsible so like the name itself suggests group it's a group of layouts okay let's see how does it work 
default is going to be just simple plain screen okay i'm going to use first the accord uh, no tab tab means all those content that you will put here in this tab layout group that those are going to display as a tab on the screen all right so i'm going to put two one second yeah so 1.1 1 1.2 1 and three so these are three tabs those are going to be okay in the first one i'm going to drag the selection of new customer okay and if it provides yes or no then it has to also provide the customer id there only yeah and i'll say title is customer type okay in the next one i'm going to ask the user to select the insurance type and in the last one i'm going to drag the section so this dynamic layout is no longer needed so this is there are three subsection in the first structural element right 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 this should show up as a tab i show you in a preview see Let's see at the runtime. New customer? No. CID test zero 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 one type auto see why do we need these layout groups well you will not need to have multiple um, flow actions or multiple sections to display the information sometimes you want to group all the information in one particular screen but the information is such a huge in a, such a huge quantity that it's not good to display it one after other that will be so very big we scroll up and scroll down we need to group them together we need to break them into logical groups and group them together and display a smaller section at a time tab is one such option what are the other options let's see <clears throat> you can use the default one which is going to be just the same thing uh, like how it was earlier one after other one on the top of other let me create a new case see oh did i not save it create another hmm one minute let me change it back later to default at the moment i'm going to go with the menu one the next item is menu sometime caching causes that to not reflect okay so this is menu driven no just zero one so you need to select it from here customer type yes insurance type auto this is more useful for mobile okay more useful for mobile devices smaller devices let me change it back to default again does it prevent mm, preserves the previous one or default is by default accord 
tab okay default is by default tab only sorry yeah all right <clears throat> let's check what's next so tab stacked is going to be one after other yeah see one after other okay one on top of other next one is tab we already saw other you can define your own tab layout group just like how we did uh, basically for container and uh, dynamic layout similarly you can define your own and come back and use that on the section wherever you find it there is mobile one already done so it's basically basically it is the menu one only but customize a little bit for the mobile then there is accordion which is expandable and collapsible the default behavior is only one a screen can be expanded at a time see when you expand the other it goes the expand the other the one already expanded collapses automatically and these see the sign though these are the uh, basically expandable collapsible stuff we configured okay so then style and title like this if you want multiple to be multiple tab to be expanded on the and you do not want the user to be limited uh, and based on the action or basically you do not want to impose this limit that only one uh, layout can be expanded at a time go ahead and change the behavior so this time i'm going to override okay so i'm going to um, change um layout group sorry layout group and accordion i'm going to first so this will affect every accordion wherever we have configured i'm going to not save as this time override it so it will come here as a overridden in my format and there should be a setting which says content allow opening of multiple panes collapse all panes on load when you load everything will be collapsed and you can open multiple panes now see all those panes are open now let's see See, I could have multiple open panes. When you load it, it will by default come as it collapsed. Everything will be collapsed. Then you can expand more than one. Alright, so this is about the layout group. Similarly, we have tables and other stuff. Table I will cover in later section. There are plenty of other things that um, I'll request you all to experiment around it. And uh, 
of course a few important control it's not possible to cover every control and every format there it will run for quite a long time then otherwise but yeah be experiment i will definitely cover all the basics ones which we often use not just the basic uh, advanced one which we often use in the projects whenever we develop applications on pega but others i welcome you all uh, basically or i request you all to try them out and if you face any issues we can discuss that so we learned here basically layout group container we saw three you three uh, occurrences or three instances where we modified the skin to create a modify the format and that's where we will conclude this session